Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Mejia and belong to Environmental and Occupational Research Team from National Institute of Health of El Salvador. Thank you for watching this presentation. The topic of this presentation is Methodology for Assessment of Drinking Water Quality in Ciudad Romero, Bajo Lempa Region, El Salvador. El Salvador is the smallest and most overpopulated country in Latin America. It has 20,742 square kilometers of territorial extension. The current estimated population is more than 6 million inhabitants and a population density of 341.5 inhabitants per square kilometers. Almost the entire country has been deforested and only 2% of primary forest has been concerned. The country has a tropical weather and periodically affected by strong tropical storms. Lempa River is the main river in El Salvador. It is the most important source of the drinking water that supplies most of the Salvadoran population's water. Despite this, the access to drinking water in rural areas in only 69.8% approximately The implementation of this research is carried out in Ciudad Romero community of Bajo Lempa region. It is located in the western coastland plain of El Salvador, in the south side of Usuretan and San Vicente. This is a low income community and its population is mainly engaged in agriculture. In this region, massive use of highly toxic pesticides as DDT or toxaphene were used in the past in cotton fields and to mitigate malaria. Nowadays, a broad spectrum of agrochemicals is used in corn, sugarcane, and vegetable fields. Drinking water network of this community is not ruled by the National Water Network. It was built seven years ago by the community with financial support of foreign NGOs. It supplies 29 communities. Bajo Lempa has its own water management office that monitors the network. This water network is not mapped and today it has a poor technical maintenance. The objectives of this presentation are show a methodology to assessment of environmental and occupational toxic hazard in Salvadoran agricultural population and show an example of the implementation of this methodology to assess the quality of Ciudad Romero drinking water network in the Bajo Lempa region. The assessment model. The National Institute of Health of El Salvador has developed a methodology to evaluate population exposure in areas where the population live close crops fields where there as massive use of our chemicals in or where there are closer geogenic sources of like hydrothermal waters or volcanic materials, widespread environmental conditions in rural areas of El Salvador. This methodology consists in eight stages. Geographical analysis and identified of possible risks of national dimension through the analysis of monitoring data, analysis and identification of critical points, evaluation of environmental database, design of environmental sampling adapted to geographical and social characteristics, as well as identifying the occupational and non-occupational exposure to pesticides. Sampling and reference toxicological analysis in the laboratory, analysis of data obtained, taking account a special dimension and description of identified risks, publication of the results, and preparation of proposals for risk mitigation. This is the flow chart model. In red, you see is sign out the different research departments 
involved in uh, study planning. This includes an assessment of environmental, epidemiological, and geographic data using GIS and a statistical analysis in order to cross different types of data to find relationship between and taking into account the spatial dimension. In red, we mark several stakeholders involved in field work. These are national and international institutions, as well as the active participation of agricultural communities. Thus, depending on the planning research, environmental samples, water, soil, food, and crops were obtained in or service in agricultural communities to identify the occupational and non-occupational exposure to environmental toxics. Results obtained from the different sampling are basic to characterize the exposure to toxins present in the environmental and or occupational exposure for management of pesticides. This information produced is used if it's necessary to design mitigation actions. These mitigation actions are defined to reduce the exposure to toxins and to implement educational programs focusing on the prevention of occupational and non-occupational risks of pesticide management on agricultural populations. I am going to show you a little example of the application of this model at local scale. Herein, we evaluate the quality of drinking water network of Ciudad Romero. Methodology National Institute of Health together with health promoter from Ministry of Health and a student from University of Covent Landau carried out the sampling between 2012 to 2013. Samples were analyzed by the National Reference Laboratory from Ministry of Health of El Salvador. 34 pesticides were analyzed together several elements like heavy metals, cadmium, chromium, lead, copper, aluminum, mercury, zinc, and arsenic were evaluated in 18 sampling points inside Ciudad Romero communities, one in the water source and two in two different networks between water source and Ciudad Romero. Bacterial presence in drinking water was analyzed in local school. Residual chlorine concentration was analyzed in situ by health promoters in community dwellings, in the local health center and in the local school. For the analysis of pesticides, a gas chromatography method was used. Atomic absorption spectroscopy methodology for metals and arsenic. For bacteriological analysis, multiple tube fermentation technique was used and free chlorine analyzer for residual chlorine. The water sample were compared with Salvadoran mandatory standard for water quality, NSO, Spanish acronym. Drinking water source identifies in the map as yellow the start of the local network is located 13 kilometers northward of community. Drinking water source and other sampling points outside the community didn't show presence of heavy metals or pesticide pollutions. All the polluted samples were located in the community area. Map shows the community area. In red dots were identified the sample points where water with concentration of DDT in or its derived metabolites. These polluted points are located at the eastern side of the community, and these concentrations are lower than NSO standards. This map shows one point defined with a red dot in the picture, where a concentration of paraquat of 9.74 mg per liter is excess 300 times the NSO standard limits. In other sample points, presence of paraquat was identified. However, the values are under the quantification limits 
of the instrumentation. Cadmium bottles were found in different points of the drinking water network. All these results are lower than the NSO standard limit. Two arsenic bottles 0.033 and 0.059 mg per liter exceeding the Salvadoran NSO standard were found at the northwest of the community. In this map, we can appreciate two points marked in red dots where the concentration of mercury exceeds the Salvadoran standard limits. Presence of lead was detected in many of the sampling points of the community's drinking water. These are marked in red points. All these values are below the Salvadoran standard limits. This map shows the number of positive samples of heavy metals for each sample point. The most polluted area is concentrated at the southwest of the community. This map is a useful tool to evaluate which pips of the network could be damaged. This map shows that the majority of positive samples to pesticides are concentrated at the east of the community. For example, these maps are a uh, useful tool to evaluate which pips of the network could be damaged and also could be used for evaluating the pollution's focus. Finally, this map shows the point where residual chlorine concentration and bacteriological analysis were carried out. As I told you before, these were located in community dwellings, in local health center and local school. The results show that the presence of residual chlorine is below the lower NSO limit in several points, and the sample points present large variation between themselves. This could be considered a risk factor associated with gastrointestinal infections because the chlorine is added to the water in order to neutralize bacteria. However, the bacteriological sample obtained in the school present a an acceptable value according and as of limit. Conclusions Developed model of assessment of environmental and occupational toxic hazard in Salvadoran agricultural populations by National Institute of Health involved the participation of several stakeholders, institutional and local. This ensured an effective intervention in the development of sustainable mitigation measures. This methodology permits to identify some deficiencies in the drinking water network. Pollution was found that could be related to pipeline damage in different locations that facilitates the infiltration of pollutants and produce a decrease of residual chlorine. The identified low quality of water could be related with some of health problems identified in Ciudad Romero inhabitants. Pollution in drinking water source was not detected. However, heterogeneous presence of trace of metals and pesticides along the network was found at the specific locations. Presence of residual chlorine is lower than NSO limit in several points, and the sample point present large variation between themselves. No bacteriological samples outside NSO limits were found. For their comments, the presence of arsenic pollution could be associated to chronic intoxication that affect different organs like kidney, and the lack of chlorine could be raised a factor associated with a gastrointestinal infection. Due to that Bajo Lempa region is an agricultural area, the pollution of drinking water Nengu could be related to damage in the distribution system. Unfortunately, water management office does not have the map of drinking water system and we were unable to verify the system path for drinking water. Thank you for your attention.